Hey everybody, VR Gaming Fan here. So, another turn of events in the drama that is Oculus. Um, Oculus has decided to tell their pre-order customers to go screw themselves. Uh, they have had problems fulfilling their pre-order um, uh, quotas, which is, uh, that's normal for, for launches of new hardware. It happens with consoles all the time. Uh, Vive is having uh, some difficulties filling their pre-orders as well. Um, and that's fine. That's not their fault. You know, component shortages, things happen. Um, but even though they haven't fulfilled all of their pre-orders, they are sending a bunch of units to retail stores uh, to sell to the general public before fulfilling all of their pre-orders. And when their pre-order customers naturally were upset and complained, Oculus's response was, go buy one in a store and cancel your pre-order. Classy. Um, whether this is um, uh, indicative of um, Oculus's business practices from the beginning, uh, you know, uh, has anything to say about the, the character of Palmer Lucky, or whether or not this is just a symptom of what everyone was afraid was going to happen when Facebook took over. As we all know, Facebook is slimy as hell. Um, regardless of, of whether this is a recent change in their business policies or whether this has been uh, an issue from the beginning with them, it's an issue. It's a major issue. It shows that they have a complete lack of respect or loyalty or gratitude to the people that have supported them from the beginning, the people, the you know, the hardcore uh, fans of the technology that have driven the technology, that have allowed them to get as far as they have, um, and uh, basically, you know, it lets you know what you can expect uh, in the future, if uh, as a customer of theirs, um, whether or not they're going to stand by you when you're having problems, when you know more updates and more support is necessary, they're obviously just in it for the the bottom dollar and the the any kind of sacrifices for their loyal customer base, their fan base. They're not interested. So, as you all know, I, I recommend not getting a Rift for many reasons, and this just adds to the pile. So, hopefully you all pre-ordered your Vives, and uh, you're not experiencing any of these problems, and uh, you can uh, look forward to lots of time uh, just relaxing and enjoying your VR with the rest of us. Talk to you next time.